The new encyclical reflects many of the ideas that Pope Francis has been putting forward throughout his pontificate. On the one hand, it calls for personal coherence, for each person to build a free and responsible personality. He advises investing in what he is often called the harmony of the three languages. Y estos tres lenguajes, el de la cabeza, el del corazón y el de las manos, armonizados. Tal punto que yo piense lo que siento y lo que haga. Sienta lo que pienso y lo que hago y haga lo que siento y lo que pienso. O sea, la armonía de los tres lenguajes. On the other hand, he warns of the danger of getting carried away by lifestyles that are narcissistic, self-interested, and individualistic, or that do not help to connect with one's own heart. In this sense, he said that it is important to be open to others, that one cannot build a life alone without the gratuitous love of others. He said that welcoming this love is important because it helps not to close oneself up in difficult moments. Lo peor que puede suceder en la vida es que el dolor te cierre. Es un poco el gesto de, de los dientes. El dolor te, te hace arisco. ¿no? Dejar lugar a la caricia. El dolor pide ser acariciado. El dolor pide eso. Dejar lugar a la esperanza. Cuando el dolor se cierra en sí mismo es venenoso siempre. In this sense, he reflected on the importance of opening oneself to experiences such as receiving consolation, because it helps to know how to offer it to others in the future. The name of the encyclical is Delexit Nos. It is an attempt to convince Christians to undertake a journey into the depths of their own hearts and to discover their own dignity.